so it's almost 8.15. I'm heading to the test center for my AZ204 exam. Uh, the exam is at 8.30 and it's almost a two minute walk. It's like two blocks from my place. So I'll be there in time. Um, but yeah, let's see how the exam goes. So it's almost 10.30. I passed my exam. I scored 737, but also I took almost the entire allocated time and yeah, just walking home. Uh, but yeah, I'll go over the score report once I'm home. So the official test result is not out. Like the printer one was available as soon as I finished the test and I, I guess barely passed with a score of 737 and the required passing score was 700 yeah so yeah i passed but i know you have an important question that you want to ask me is how i prepared for this certification and i want to tell you i didn't use any course or pra practice exams that being said i did go through the microsoft learn modules and this was during one of the cloud skills challenge so the reason why i sat this exam was I went through the Cloud Skills Challenge for Microsoft Build and I had a free exam voucher. So as for cost for this certification, it was basically free. I didn't spend anything on courses or practice exams, nor did I pay for the certification fee as well. Now talking about resources that I used, so Microsoft Learn, and I'll show you the exact challenge had, you know, uh, developer tools challenge and along with that i also went through all of the az204 modules that microsoft learn mentions and a lot of hands-on experience so yeah this is my learn profile and yeah i also just checked i received the microsoft certified azure developer associate which is the full name for the az204 so talking about the microsoft learn challenge that i took uh, so this was during microsoft build which uh, i also shared about on my youtube channel on how to get you know free voucher for your microsoft azure certification so yeah make sure you know you subscribe to this channel if you're new so that you keep up to date with all these amazing cloud challenges that i shared but yeah so the main one i would say prepared me for this certification was the cloud development challenge and there are specific az204 modules so in microsoft learn if you type in az204 and scroll down, you will see there are different learning paths. So these are the learning paths that I was referring to. So go through these and you'll be fine for the certification, but make sure you build actual projects that align with the exam guide. So talking about the study guide for AZ204, you know, make sure you go through this documentation look for what are the updates that have been done recently to the exam and what are the skills that will be measured and then pick some projects that you build that will help you learn these skills that are mentioned in the study guide talking about the hands-on practice here this is my azure account and i'll zoom in a little bit these are all the resource group i have um, just showcasing how many projects i have deployed in azure so you know i have great love for serverless so you'll see a lot of projects that i build are utilizing azure functions and also i have deployed to azure container apps you know azure container instances and made use of different sdks that are available specifically for storage accounts so like i try to use blob storage as storage solution for some of my projects so how you can interact with blob storage within your web app or an api that you build so that i think was the most important learning experience for me so when i build those apps i basically was targeting all these skills measured for the az204 and one of the projects that i can show you is the code QR code generator, right? So you might have seen the AWS serverless project that I built, which basically is a serverless API endpoint where you can generate QR codes for your URL. I'm trying to translate that into Azure. So basically you need to be comfortable developing solutions on Azure, specifically from a cloud developer standpoint. So I think that's what helped me the most to pass this exam. That being said, you know, I barely passed with 
uh, 737 score. And again, I'm not against any courses or practice exams that others might use to prepare for the certification. I'm just telling you the importance of having hands-on practice and how it can build such a solid foundation for any of these exams that you might be sitting. But yeah, also this means that I'm almost, let's see, seven times certified in Azure. So I've got the AZ400, uh, 104, which is expired, the SC900, the AI900, the AZ900, uh, the data fundamentals, which is the DP900, and now the 204. So yeah, seven times Azure certified, I guess. Again, don't be like me and collect all of these badges like Pokemons, but yeah, I just try to test my knowledge, like whatever I learn by building projects, by setting these exams. And I've been running this experiment this year where I'm just building stuff on different cloud providers and then just setting the exams without taking any courses. So if you're interested, you can check those videos out. So I have one for AZ400 and also some other cloud providers. So also this was my first Azure exam with the open book concept. I think a few months ago, Azure announced that you'll be able to access Microsoft Learn during your certification or exam. And yeah, so this was my first one with that experience where I was able to access Microsoft Learn. I would say that this is also the exam that I took the entire time. So one and a half hour was allocated to answer the questions. I had 44 questions on the exam and it is the first time that I missed two questions because the time ended. So the last two questions I just missed because the exam closed due to me being out of time. And I believe it is because I was searching through Microsoft Learn and I really liked the experience, but sometimes I think I just needed to be more careful about going down the rabbit hole and spending extended time on one specific question. So that was the only downside, but I think otherwise it's really good that we have access to Microsoft Learn. If you're preparing for this exam, I wish you luck. And remember, practice your hands-on skills by building projects. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.